just past 11 a.m. It's 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle. I'm Stevie Zoom in for Cheryl for the Midday Show. And we are ready for some live music here in our studios. We want to welcome back Bombay Bicycle Club. Thank you guys for returning. Uh, they are playing tonight at the Neptune Theater along with Royal Canoe and their brand new album, So Long, See You Tomorrow. Thank you for being here. If you're ready for a couple songs, you can go right ahead.
Live music here at 90.3 KEXP Bombay Bicycle Club here at KEXP.org or streaming live as well. Thank you so much for returning. Again, the new album is So Long, See You Tomorrow, but that song Shuffle was from the previous album. Yeah, that was an old. An older one. And the first song you did was Feel, which is from the fir- from the new release. Yeah, that's there's, our latest single. Yeah, there's quite a production on the video on that one too. Yeah, that was kind of a uh, a, a dream that we had. Which came true. All right. To my left here uh, is Jack. And uh, if you could uh, give an introduction to our, uh, tell our listeners who's with you here today. You've got a couple extra folks helping out on the sound. Yep. We've got Louis Bose playing the, uh, the sampler. Liz Lawrence is singing with us today. Ed Nash on the bass. Surrender Serum on the drums. And Jamie McCall playing guitar. Yeah. And uh, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to your crew and our crew here at KEXP for coming in early to get all this set up. There's a lot of a lot of gear here in the in the room and in the hallways, and so a big thank you. I was just kind of standing in the back and just staying out of the way, and I uh, want to say thank you to all those folks involved with doing that. So the new record, So Long, See You Tomorrow. Uh, Jack, I kind of understand that some of the inspiration on this uh, started with you uh, traveling, but that was maybe traveling away from a band to travel. Yeah, so we'd like f- we'd finish touring, and I would just refuse to go home. Basically, um, I don't think I was traveling specifically to be inspired. I wasn't like going to find myself and write a mystic album. But you just like to travel. I just wanted to go somewhere where I feel energized, and yeah. I'm not just sitting at home. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, what's always interesting with this group is with each record, the, the sound is uh, you don't repeat the sound. You guys kind of kind of shift things a little bit. This one's a little bit more in the electronic direction. Um, was that something you were at first striving to look for, or did it just kind of find its way that way? I think it's happened very naturally. And I think the way that I write music now has a lot to do with sampling records rather than writing stuff on guitar. And the nature of sampling is that you're completely f- free. You know, you just find a record that you like the look of, and it could be any style, and you like the melody in it, so you sample it. Yeah. And that's why you're hearing probably a lot of very different types of sounds on the on the album. Yeah, there's a lot of different sounds, some uh, different areas. There's uh, all the the horn parts that are added as well, and that's uh, pretty cool. That's what's going on on the new record. Um, you guys are playing a lot of theaters, but I know that uh, on this trip uh, just here a week ago, you had the uh, the outdoor experience at Coachella. How yeah. was that? Fortunately, we were in a tent, so it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't we were in the coolest part of Coachella. Yeah, I we were temperature wise. Blasted in the face by sand, like everyone outside. Yeah. Now, I'm sure you guys have done a number of festivals in England and in Europe and such. Was the Coachella similar to that or, or different? Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty different. Um, it, well, it's, it's, it's extremely different, actually. It's nothing like a, a British festival, really. Um, I find it quite strange because it, it seems like these days the majority of people are there are there to see sort of like EDM and and what I would consider like bad hip hop, but they persist with having quite an alternative 
lineup, which I think is quite uh, admirable. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you had or hear you had a good experience with that. So uh, after traveling and kind of getting some ideas, do you kind of bring these back? And then does the, the, the sound then evolve, obviously, from what you're starting with, but uh, does it include everybody else with kind of getting, getting parts together for the songs? I usually just email through like a demo to the guys. And what's great is that they listen to it, you know, with completely no preconceptions. Whereas I'm very involved in the whole process, so I can't, I, it's really hard for me to judge it at, at that point. And I have these guys that can be completely honest with me. Tell me when something's awful or tell me when something's good, and it kind of works well that way. I, you guys have known each other for quite a long time, so probably at this point, you know, everybody can, can say how they feel on, an, on a particular song or a particular part and yeah. uh, be really honest about it and yeah, of course. know that it works. If, if we couldn't do that, then I don't think it would, we'd be able to survive. Yeah. I know that uh, later on, after you're done with this U.S. tour, I saw that, you know, you're going to obviously be doing more dates in Europe and such later on this year. I saw that one of the places you're going to is Russia. Yes. That should be pretty interesting. With yeah, this we've, time. <laughs> we've had a lot of going back and forth about it internally. Yeah, yeah I'm sure that, that will probably continue until that time. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's sort of two twofold because there's the the kind of homophobia laws and 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 general sort of social repression and then at the same time sort of the increasing prospect of going to war. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a win-win scenario. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so long, see you tomorrow is the new release. It's uh, here in the U.S. on the Vagrant label, and uh, tonight Bombay Bicycle Club and Royal Canoe are at the Neptune and. If you happen to be in the Vancouver, B.C. area tomorrow night, for our friends up there, they'll be at the Commodore. So uh, great that you're back here with us. If you're ready for a couple more songs? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I will be myself Then I'll wear you for the night
You're listening to live music here at KEXP from Bombay Bicycle Club playing this evening at the Neptune Theater. Me performed live here at KEXP by Bombay Bicycle Club. Again, the new album, So Long, See You Tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. They're playing tonight at the Neptune Theater. <laughs> 